This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TV44's High School Whiz Quiz. I'm your host, Dancy Moeller. You're joining an exciting show because we are down to our semifinal games. You're going to see Defiance take on Versailles in the very first game, and then a little bit later, Finley will face off against Bodkins. We want to introduce you to our players. Joining us first from Defiance High School, we have Connor Black, Ava Dirk, Madison Carollis, and Xavier Payne. And Defiance is coached by James Kerr. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Versailles. We have Sam Stockler, Andy Heckman, Tessa Tayo, and Sam Eiding. And Versailles is coached by Margie Treon. All right, everybody, I know that um, your nerves are probably a little raw right now. We want you to relax and enjoy this. Again, first round, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. You know how important it is to speak up, make sure your answers are as loud as possible and as complete as possible, all right? Here we go. Question number one. Who said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand? Yes, that would be defiance. Uh, John the Baptist. John the Baptist is correct. In Greek mythology, who flew too close Yes, that would be defiance. I don't know. Okay. Versailles, do you want me to complete the question? Icarus. Icarus is the answer. All right. Question number three. Insulin is produced by what organ? Yes, defiance. The pancreas. The pancreas is correct. Myalgia affects what part of the body? Defiance. The brain. The brain is incorrect. Versailles, do you want to try? Yes. Bones. Bones is also incorrect. The muscles is what we're looking for. All right, question five. What was the first effective antibiotic used in medicine? Yes, that would be Versailles. Penicillin. Penicillin is correct. All right, number six. How much time did Jonah spend in the belly of the whale? Yes, defiance. Uh, 40 days and 40 nights. That is incorrect. Versailles, you want to try? Thirty days. It would be three days. All right. Number seven. How many hydrogen atoms are in one? Yes, defiance. Two. You are correct, too. All right. Three questions remain in your first round. Name the author of The Great Gatsby. Defiance. Scott Fitzgerald. Scott Fitzgerald. Could you expand the name? Scott, Scott F. Fitzgerald. That is incorrect. We've got to turn it over to Versailles. No. We're looking for F. Scott Fitzgerald. Oh. All right, number nine. What color does litmus turn into when dipped into acid? Yes, defiance. Red. Red is correct. And your final question in this round. Name the most malleable metal. Defiance. Aluminum. Aluminum is incorrect. For sales, you have a chance. Yes. Mercury. Mercury, also incorrect. Gold is the answer. All right, we come to the end of round one now in our semifinal between Defiance and Versailles. Here is the score. Defiance, you have 40 points. Versailles, 20. We'll be back with rounds two and three right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by the Union Bank Company, committed to you. And by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back, everyone. We're right in the middle of a game between Defiance and Versailles High Schools. Here's the score, Versailles with 20 points, Defiance with 40. 
That means you will lead the second round with the five questions. They're all yours, worth five points apiece. Please ring in with your buzzer, okay? What is the most abundant element in the Earth's atmosphere? Yes. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is correct. All right, question two. What is the capital of Kenya? Yes. Nairobi. Nairobi is the answer there. Number three. What disease is associated with dementia? Yes. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is correct. Question four. What does a butterfly use to taste? Yes. The feet. The feet is correct. And your final question in the second round. In the children's books about a 25-foot tall red dog, what is the name of the dog? Yes, Defiance. Clifford. Clifford is correct. All right, good job. Now turning to Versailles for your five questions. What is the largest city in Maryland? Yes. Baltimore. Baltimore is correct. In which state is Yosemite National Park? Yes. California. California is correct. What is the first book of the Bible? Yes. Genesis. Genesis is correct. How many colors are in the spectrum when white light is separated? Yes, for sales? Seven. Seven is correct. And your final question. When referring to computer memory, what does the acronym RAM stand for? Yes. Random Access Memory. You are correct. All right, good job. All right, moving on now to our final round. Again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece. Up for grabs in the semifinal between Versailles and Defiance. Our score right now, Defiance 65 points, Versailles 45. All right, here we go. Name the war that lasted from June 5th through June 10th of 1967. Yes, for sales. Five days war. That is incorrect. Defiance, you want to try? The answer is the six day war. All right, number two. What ship's demise had its 100th anniversary? Yes, Defiance. Titanic. Titanic is correct. Who was the author of Life on the Mississippi? Yes, for sales. Mark Twain. Mark Twain is the answer. What is the outermost layer of skin called? For sales. Epidermis. Epidermis is the answer there. All right, question number five. What hormone controls the supply of sugar to the muscles? Yes, defiance. Um, glucose. That is incorrect. For sales, you want to try? Yes. Insulin. Insulin is the answer there. All right. Our score right now, defiance 75, for sales 75. All right. We have five questions remaining. Name the muscle used for breathing that separates the chest. Yes, Versailles. The diaphragm. Diaphragm is correct. What is the chemical formula for ozone? Yes. O3. O3 is correct. Three questions remain. What famous German physicist wished he had become a watchmaker? Yes, defiance. Einstein. Could Albert you, Einstein. There you go. Albert Einstein is correct. Question number nine. What digital currency was invented? Yes, defiance. Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the answer there. And we have one more question remaining in this semifinal game. BB-8 is an astro... Yes, that would be Versailles. Star Wars. Star Wars is the answer. Let's all exhale. <laughs> all right, that was a very close game, and here's our final score. Defiance, 95 points. Versailles, you are the winner, moving on to the championship with 105 points. Congratulations.
defiance, well played. You should be very proud of yourselves. Thanks for joining us this year. We'll be back with our second game right after this. Tonight's Whiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success, RhodesState.edu, and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. everyone. Well, I think we're finally starting to breathe a little normally again. We had a nail biter between Defiance and Versailles High School. They were down to the final question and it turns out that Versailles is the winner. They are going to be moving on to the championship. They will take on the winner of this game between Finley High School and Botkins. Well, joining us now from Finley is Kayla Keckler, Brian Yo, Craig Corbin, and Katie Corbin. And Finley High School is coached by David Barkey. Welcome to all of you. All right, moving now to Bodkins High School. Playing for them is Nick Bittner, Josh Madden, Olivia Yuri, and Danny Schneider. And Bodkins is coached by Ryan Loy. All right, everybody ready? Ready to have a good time with this? Okay, we have 10 questions as you all know. We're 10 points apiece. Get the buzzers ready and let's go. How many Super Bowl rings did Troy Aikman win? Yes, Finley. Seven. Seven is incorrect. Botkins, you want to try? Five. Five is also incorrect. Three is the number we're looking for there. Question number two, identify the author of Les Miserables. Yes, Botkins. Victor Hugo. Victor Hugo is the answer. What is the chemical symbol for salt? Yes, Finley. N-A. CL. That is correct. All right, moving on. Number four. Which of the five human senses is most closely linked to memory? Yes, Botkins. Sight. Sight is incorrect. Finley, you want to try? Yes. Smell. Smell is the answer. Question number five. Pulmonic refers to what part of the body? Finley. The lungs. The lungs is correct. Question number six. What color is the M on McDonald's signs? Yes, Botkins. Yellow. Yellow is the answer. Question seven. What is the name of Washington Irving's 1819? Yes, that would be Botkins. Rip Van Winkle. You are correct, Rip Van Winkle. All right, number eight. Name one of the seas that flank the Caucasus Mountains. Yes, Finley. The Mediterranean Sea. That is incorrect. We're going to turn it to Botkins, yes. The Adriatic. Also incorrect, it's the Black Sea or the Caspian Sea. All right, question nine. Janet Jackson is the youngest of how many? Yes, Finley. Five. Five is incorrect. Botkins, you want to try? Yes. Seven. Seven is also incorrect. Nine is the answer there. And our final question in round one. Who was president at the beginning of the 20th century? Botkins. Theodore Roosevelt. Incorrect. Finley, you want to try? Yes. William McKinley. William McKinley is the answer. Okay, we've come to the end of our round, and here's the score. Finley, you have 40 points. Botkins with 30. That means, Finley, you're going to lead this round with your first five questions, all worth five points. Please buzz in with your answer. Which U.S. president was one of the first of the baby boomers born in 1946? Yes. Uh, George W. Bush. That is incorrect. The answer is Bill Clinton. All right. What is the most abundant element in the Earth's atmosphere? Yes. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is correct. The largest eyes in the world belong to what creature? 
Yes. The giant squid. You are correct. The giant squid. All right, number four. Nicholas II was the last to hold what title in Russia? Yes, Finley. Czar. Czar is the answer. And your final question. Who wrote the fairy tale, The Ugly Duckling? Yes. Hans Christian Andersen. Hans Christian Andersen is correct. All right, Botkins, your turn now for five questions. What is the first element on the periodic table? Yes. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is correct. Which famous basketball player named Larry came from Indiana? Yes. Larry Bird. Larry Bird is correct. Name the author of The Inferno. Yes. Dante. Dante is correct, and you have two questions remaining. In which city did the Harlem Renaissance occur? Yes. New York City. New York City is the answer, and you have one question here. Who attempted to assassinate Ronald Reagan in 1981? Yes. Lee Harvey Oswald. That is incorrect. It's John Hinckley Jr. All right, we've come to the end of rounds one and two in our semifinal game, and here is the score. Bodkins, you have 50 points. Finley with 60. It's a close one. We'll be back with the final round right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by The Union Bank Company, committed to you. And by the Tom All Family of Dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai. The home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we are 10 questions away from finding out who will be playing in the championship. We have Botkins taking on Finley right now. Here's our score. Finley with 60 points and Botkins with 50. These 10 questions are all up for grabs. Get the buzzers ready and here we go. Superman is a fictional superhero from what planet? Yes, Finley. Krypton. Krypton is correct. Question two. What year was the first Super Bowl played? Yes, Botkins. 1957. That is incorrect. Finley, you want to try it? Yes. 1958. That is also incorrect. The answer is 1967. All right, question number three. What is the more common name for infantile paralysis? Yes, Botkins. Shaken baby syndrome. That is incorrect. Finley, you can try this one. Yes. Polio? Polio is the answer. All right, question four. An octopus cannot fit through a hole any smaller than its what? Finley. Head. I'm sorry? Head. Head is incorrect. Botkins? Beak. Beak is the answer. All right, number five. Who is the actor known for saying, I'll be back? Yes, Botkins. Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is correct. Number six, what does SPF mean on sunscreen? Yes, Botkins. Sun protection factor. That is the answer. All right, question number seven. What planet is circled by only two moons? Yes, Finley. Mars. Mars is correct. All right, we're down to our final three questions in this game. What common automotive essential is measured in terms of its viscosity? Finley. Oil. Oil is the answer. Question number nine. What is the study of materials at very low temperatures? Yes, Finley. Cryogenics. Cryogenics is the answer. And our final question in this semifinal game. What is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust? Yes, Finley. Iron. Iron is incorrect. Botkins, you want to try? Yes. Nickel. Nickel is incorrect. The answer is aluminum. All right, we've come down to the end of our game here between Finley and Bodkins. It was a close one right up until the end, really. So here is our score. Bodkins, 80 points. 
Finley, you're moving on to the championship with 110 points. Congratulations. Bakkins, thanks for joining us this year. And Finley, we'll see you in a week, okay? Thanks for joining us at home. We'll see you for the championship next week. Bye-bye, everyone.